Hello my friends, what's up and welcome back. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be my first fall video. I am so excited. I am here for the fall feels. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, this is going to be the easiest, I promise you, the easiest fall look you have ever done in your life. And it's very dupable with products already in your collection. Then just keep on watching. So there were some makeup products that here lately I had been thinking about and I was like, I really wanna pull these out and use them and I thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my first fall look because you guys know I am here for all the fall feels. I've already had my first Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Yes, I am that person that starts it off in August. So that being said, we're gonna use the Melt Cosmetics Rust Palette. I just, this is one of my favorite palettes for fall. It's got the mustards, it's got the deeper browns. It's just absolutely lovely and gives you a super can give you a super sultry, smoky fall type of look. Then one of my favorite blushes of life, honestly, and it's, I love busting it out in fall, comes from the Jouer Bouquet d'Amour um, blush palettes from a couple of years ago. And it's this shade called Treasure Me. It's this pumpkin orange, which typically would be very intimidating. However, it is absolutely lovely on the skin and gives me all of those pumpkin spice vibes. And then you guys, probably my favorite product of all in this video is this Too Faced Gingerbread Lipstick in the shade Gingerbread Man. Listen, if this doesn't give you all of the fall vibes, I don't know what will. It is the perfect shade of like orange, pumpkin, whatever, but it does give you all of the fall vibes and I am here for it. So that being said, these are the products primarily we're going to use as far as fall based. Of course, everything else is just normal uh, foundation and all of that. But if you're interested, if you kind of want to hang out with me, if you just want to, I don't know, get some inspiration for fall makeup. And trust me when I say this will be the easiest fall look you've ever done. Four shades, three eyeshadow brushes, uh, I think three. <laughs> um, so super simple. I don't do complex. I hope you enjoy. Starting off with the shade Rubbish on a blending brush. This particular one is by BH Cosmetics. And just placing this into the crease. This is like the perfect dirty mustard shade and it reminds me so much of fall. And so I was really wanting to base the look around this shade actually. Um, just layering a couple of times. This shade is actually very pigmented, but I just out of habit, I at least layer a couple of times for my crease color. And this one just, oh, I love melt shadows. They just go on so beautifully. Next, moving into the shade Mar. This is a very deep brown and can cause a look to go south really quick. Um, but if you're trying to be messy, you're not trying to be very precise, then it actually can work in your favor. And that's actually what I was doing today. I was just going a little bit messy, concentrating the color at the top portion of that outer lid. And I just love the gradient effect that it gives like once you bring it down a little bit. It just gives such a beautiful smoky look. And it actually looks really blended, really pretty. I don't know. Sometimes with these deeper shades, I do have a little bit of trouble. Just my technique, really, not necessarily the shadow, but this one, again, just worked so nicely. And paired with that yellow shade in the crease, I mean, I'm needing a pumpkin spice latte at this moment. <laughs> Going in with the Intensifies Artistry Wand by Pat McGrath. In place of my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer, can you believe it? I'm just really putting it to use is all it is. Uh, it's going to grip the eyeshadow because I'm going in with the shade Tarnish, which is like a metallic type of shade and this artistry wand just helps really grab that pigment. So I'm placing this on the inner portion of the lid and kind of bringing it up into like an arch type of shape. You've seen me do this a million times. And then flipping my brush over, I'm gonna go in with the shade Redox. Um, I may be pronouncing that totally wrong, but just grabbing some pigment there, and this is what's gonna go on the middle portion of the lid. We're pretty much using all the fall shades on the eye, kind of making it to look like a gradient effect sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of deep shades in this look, so it does look a little bit sultrier, I guess. Going back in with that BH Cosmetics brush and no added product, just blending in that Mar shade with the metallic I just placed down. 
Now let's move into the face. So I'm going in with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is probably my favorite primer of life. I don't use it as often as I like and that's really just because I'm trying to rotate out my primers but this particular one is just, it's so good and I come back to it and I'm like, man, why don't I use this more often? Now going in with my Bite Micellar Foundation, and uh, this is one of my favorites, but again, I don't use it too, too often. Just kind of squirting some out onto my hand. I don't typically do this, but I'm kind of over the whole process of dotting foundation on my face because I like to just kind of sweep some at the top of my forehead and the top of my cheeks, and I find that that does the trick for me. So using a Tarte, I think this was like a Rainforest of the Sea foundation brush, one of my favorite foundation brushes. And just uh, evening this out over the face, it's not a very heavy duty foundation, which is one thing I love about it. It gives me the coverage, but it also looks incredibly natural. Now going in with my Pat McGrath concealer. This one is in the shade LM9, and this is my favorite concealer of life. Really second only to the Too Faced, um, I forget what it's even called, the one in the larger bottle. I'd say that's my favorite, but this runs a very close second. So I'm gonna let this sit for just a bit because I like for it to get tacky. That's how my concealers really gain coverage is by my letting them sit for a little bit. As long as they're not matte, I'll just kind of let them get tacky. So going in with my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush and kind of spreading this out. Now, I have learned when I start going in with concealer and I'm using a brush, soon after spreading it out on one eye, I go and I wipe it down on a paper towel so that I can get rid of any excess product. If I don't do that, I find that concealer can end up looking kind of crepey and cakey under my eyes. And doing it this way just really helps get rid of any excess product and just helps it look a whole lot smoother under my eyes. Now just blending those two together with my foundation brush, no added product, just trying to get it to blend all together and look seamless. Now let's move into my Jaclyn Hill setting powder. I think this one's in the shade Do Me D-E-W. And this is one of my very favorite setting powders. It does have a luminosity and I think it's more of like a finishing powder, but honestly, I legit use it as a setting powder and it gives such a beautiful finish. If you're not into like radiant finishes, then definitely wouldn't be for you, but I am all about that type of finish on my face. For reference, the brush is actually by BH Cosmetics. It came in a set a long time ago. Um, I don't even think the number is on it anymore, but it's the perfect fluffy brush. And I do find that BH Cosmetics just makes some of the best brushes at such a great price. So now let's go into bronzer. We're gonna use Glowish by Huda Beauty. This particular one is in the shade Medium. Now, this bronzer is very stiffly packed, so I definitely recommend going up a shade. And I'm using a denser brush because again, to pick up product, you really have to use something a little more stiff. What I love about this bronzer is it gives my skin such a beautiful, natural look. It looks like I am truly bronzed without being bronzed if you know what I mean like it doesn't look like I came back from the pool or from the beach it looks like I have a legit natural just bronzy glow and now one of my favorite parts going into blush which is from the Jouer Bouquet d'Amour blush palette and a Sephora fluffy blush brush I'm going into the shade Treasure Me. This is like a true tangerine shade and it's absolutely beautiful. To look at it in the pan, it can like, it just reminds me strictly of pumpkin. And I have been just itching to use this. So I thought today would be the perfect time because what better time to use it than my first fall look of the season.
Now going into highlight, I'm going to use my YSL Touche Flat 3D All Over Glow Highlight. This is just shade universal. I think it's the only shade they have. Um, I like this highlight quite a bit, but if you are like me and you like very in your face highlight, this is not it. This has, it looks on camera like it has a really decent glow. It's actually a lot more subtle than you would think. And it is, it's beautiful. But the thing about it is I have so much right now going on on the eyes and that's what I want the focal point to be that I opted to dial it back a little bit on the highlight. Now let's get into our lower lash line. So let's go back into the shade Mar and using a very tiny Morphe, uh, is this a blending brush? But it is super small and precise, which I love. I feel like I need more of these types of brushes. So I'm just placing that on the lower lash line. I have gotten to where I start my, when I'm doing my lower lash line, I start in the middle. If I start at the outer portion, I feel like too much gets deposited there and it just looks funny. So starting in the middle and with a lighter hand just really helps it spread out a little bit more evenly and gives me the more smoky look that I'm going for. And if you wear contact lenses, then you know the struggle with having to do a lower lash line with shadow. <laughs> So now going back into the shade Tarnish, this is a very tiny Morphe detailer brush and I'm just going to place this in the inner corner and kind of drag it about a fourth of the way of the lower lash line so that it just kind of blends together with that dark Mar shade and it just a little looks a little bit more cohesive. It kind of ties in with what's happening on the, on the lid as well. Now going in with some lower lash mascara, which I don't do all the time, but for this kind of look, it was a little bit too sultry to not do lower lash mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara that everybody knows and loves. I have been working my way through this mascara and it is as good as everybody says. And now it's time for probably the star of the show. And that is the Too Faced Gingerbread Man Lipstick. I would say this is like I was most excited to use the blush but quite frankly I don't know I feel like it's a tie for the lipstick because truly to look at this lipstick again I just think of pumpkin pie it's perfect it gives me all the fall feels and just makes me want to pull out all my fall makeup it's just it really brings you into the season and this formula is amazing the shade is amazing I hope Too Faced does more of this this holiday season the finished look guys I hope this inspires you to pull out your own fall makeup and get the season started Alrighty, my loves. Well, that brings us to the end of today's fall look. I hope you found it super easy to follow. I hope it was quick for you that you were just like, you know what? Yes, bam, bam, bam. I'm going to pull these products from my collection and I'm going to just fall into fall, if you will. I hope you enjoyed sincerely. So that being said, I just want to give you a very quick verse of the day to motivate you, encourage you, and to tell you that Jesus loves you. Today's comes from Numbers 6, 24 through 26. It's, this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, verse. And it says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. That is my prayer for you today. And if you don't already know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it is my prayer that you come to know him and the very just perfection that he is. Life with him is absolutely wonderful. And I love sharing that with you guys. So that being said, we will conclude today's video, but I will be back very soon because there's a lot of holiday beauty to talk about. So I will see you very soon. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Take care.